Hello, my name is Spindemus, and in this video we're going to be learning about linking to internal sections of a page with anchor elements. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below. Let's begin. Anchor elements can also be used to create internal links to jump to different sections within a web page. To create an internal link, you assign a link's href attribute to a hash symbol plus the value of the ID attribute for the element that you want to internally link to. Usually further down the page, you then need to add the same ID attribute to the element you are linking to. An ID is an attribute that uniquely describes an element. Below an example of an internal anchor link and its target element. You have contacts header with the you know hashtag pound sign. Contacts Then you have H2 ID contacts header contacts. This is a little bit confusing to me, but I'm going to move on because I think they explain it. When users click the contacts link, they'll be taken to the section of the web page with the contacts header element. Okay. Change your external link to an internal link by changing the href attribute to hashtag footer and then or, and the text from cat photos to jump to bottom. Okay. Let's see here. Change your external link. That's this one here. Wait. Cat photos. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this anchor, not the image. If you change this, is the image to this cat here. And this is your cat photos. Blue click button here. Uh, external link blue clicky button. All right. So let's change the external link, which is right here. The free cat photo app.com. We're going to delete that and we're going to change it to pound sign hashtag, whatever it is, shift three. Okay. And we want that to say footer F O O T E R. Um, hmm, target equals blank. href, I don't think you need all of this, so I'm going to delete it because I'm fairly sure you just need a closing tag here and then you need the word, so no space there, the word they want is Jump to bottom is, I guess, three words. So the text jump to bottom and then the closing anchor element. I keep saying tags. I guess I, I need to get used to the verbiage. Like I said, I'm still learning as we learn through these lessons together. I will use the proper terminology. So now we have a jump to bottom button and it should just, when you click it, it should move you down to the bottom. But right now it doesn't because we don't have 
the second target element. We have the an internal anchor link we just created. So now let's create the next part, which is, uh, let's see here, remove the target equals blank. Um, this causes the link document to open in a new window tab. So this attribute would cause the linked document to open in a new window tab. We don't want that. Then add an ID attribute with a value of footer to the footer element at the bottom of the page. Okay. So we're going to add an ID here. I'm just going to go with what they have as the example. I'm not sure if it's, if it has to be an H2, can it just be an anchor? I think it has to be an H2. I'm not sure. That's uh, something we can experiment with. So H2 ID equals. And honestly, what I'm going to do is start this on a new line. Just to clean it up a little bit. Let's see here. ID equals. And we're going to put um, footer. Close that bracket there. And then uh, what's the word going to say? Footer. That's that looks so weird. I don't I don't think you need that to be honest. So let's just create the closing H2 and see see what happens now. So if you click this, I mean the web page. Can I zoom in? Okay, click it. Yeah, it'll jump you down. If you click that, it jumps you down to the bottom. That's a good way to test it. And then the other thing I wanted to test, like I said, does this have to be an H2? Can it be an anchor element instead? So we change the code for it to just be an anchor to match. And it looks like it still works. Um, you can put words if you need to, but the words here at the footer are actually their copyright cat photo app. So I didn't really think we needed any more words. Let's see here. There should be only one anchor tag on your page. Okay. There should be only one footer tag on your page. Okay, so that means I can't have a second anchor. So what we'll do here is um, we'll just do footer ID equals And we'll put the quotation marks footer and we'll get rid of this whole section because we can only have one anchor tag and one footer tag. Okay. So that's the rules here for this challenge. And we already tested, you can have it says footer, we had H2 and we had anchor. So you can use any element and then this attribute, is that what it's called? Yeah, attribute here in light blue, the ID attribute will go to the footer. And it just opens and closes like a regular so you just add the ID in inside the tag there. So now when you click, you're still 
functioning on your code here. We'll continue on here. The A tag should have an href attribute set to footer. So you have the href attribute here set to footer. The A tag should not have a target attribute. We deleted that target attribute earlier. The A tag should be jump to bottom. So that's this right here. The footer tag should have an ID attribute set to footer. And it has the ID attributes equals footer here inside of the the footer tag. I'm trying to get it to highlight there. And now we will run the test since we checked all the objectives. Sonic boom. There it is. Good job, everyone. That's going to be the end of this lesson from freecodecamp.org. I'll take us to the outro. Thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button. If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I am Findimus, and I will see you later. Have a good day, everyone.